वर्णिवे शर्मणीयदर्शन मंदहासुचिराननाज पूजित सुरनरोतमुदा धर्मनंदनम विचित धर्मनंदनम विचित श्री घनश्याम महाराज नीज ओल मैटी सुप्रीम लॉर्ड और बिलोट घनश्याम महाराज पाथ में कटोल ब्रेसन पूज्य पाथ गुरु जी पूज्य भगत जैन ऑल ऑफ डिटीज जय स्वामी नारायण एज लास्ट संडे वी हैव लिसन सम इंसिडेंट हैपन इन लाइफ ऑफ रामचंद्र वैद इन सिटी ऑफ वडोदरा हाउ महाराज डिवाइनली अपियर टू हिज होम एंड हाउ महाराज गेव हिम डिवाइन दर्शन एंड एवरीथिंग नाउ टूडे सदगुरु ने स्कूलानंद स्वामी रात सम मोर इंसिडेंट हैपन इन रामचंद्र वैद लाइफ and for that niskudanan swami rat in bhakta chintamni vadi ek divas ni kahu thayo par jo sambhad jo sahu tedya jam va ger marad karyo thakur arthe thad once upon a day ramchandra vaid had decided to feed santo in his own house now for that he invited santo in his home when santo came at that time santo came with a form of maharaj meaning bhagwan's murti just as today santo or guru ji and santo go to any devotee's house for padramni or for thal at that time santo and guru ji go to particular devotee's home with her thakur ji in the same way santo came in ramchandra's home with her thakur ji now santo prepared uh, many many varieties of tables everything is ready now they offer thar to maharaj santo prepared thar in a one big plate and balls and put thal in front of this murti of thakur ji now at the time ramchandra vaid he observed very deeply in thal he saw there were 12 jalebis in the thal and many other things now santo singh thal and all set for mansi puja and all pray to maharaj maharaj please eat maharaj himself in human form not present in ramchandra's home maharaj was not even in vadodara maharaj was stay in another place but all devotees and santo have a too much affection in bhagwan and all santo and devotees they have devotion towards bhagwan that this form this murti is not a murti but this is bhagwan himself and in this way they pray to maharaj please maharaj eat this is our devotion for you now maharaj even though he was stay in another place still divinely appear in ramchandra vaid's home but nobody can see maharaj and maharaj remain in a small murti he ate everything but still thal remain at it was everything in a thal jalebis and everything remain at as it was before uh, at at as uh, the devotees and santo offer maharaj but after eating maharaj took eight jalebis from a thal so in a thal only four jalebis remain and with these eight jalebis maharaj disappear from that place nobody knew that maharaj came there in a human form and ate our thal now after this incident after offering thal to maharaj all santo and devotees ate this prasad after that as ramchandra had counted 
at the time of offering thar to maharaj that there were 12 jalebis in a thar and when after offering when after maharaj hit the thal and after when santo took back this thar in a kitchen at the time ramchandra with again counted only four jalebis remain in a thar so ramchandra decided that eight jalebis maharaj ate now on other hand maharaj was uh, was sitting in totally different place not in vadodara city at that place maharaj was sitting and there were some female devotees there so maharaj gave eight jalebis to one of female devotees and maharaj instructed her today i went to ramchandra boy's home in vadodara there santo had made many many different things and very nice thar so i ate everything and these jalebi were very very nice so i took these eight jalebis for devotees and by saying maharaj hand over these eight jalebis to that female devotee and maharaj instruct, instructed her to distribute this prasad when all other female devotees gather here for seva or for darshan now that female devotees distributed this uh, prasad of jalebi amongst all other female devotees and when after some day after some days this news appeared in vadodara came in vadodara and when ramchandra waid he knew about this news that maharaj uh, ate thal in my home in divine form and even he took eight jalebis and he distributed among some female devotees then he also added that i i have also counted jalebis in a thar there were 12 jalebis and when after maharaj completed his dinner at the time when thar took back into kitchen at the time there were only four jalebis remain in the thar so this is what bhagwan swaminarayan's divine miracle or we can say this is a proof or this is a, this is an evidence that maharaj forever present or forever remain in, in his form or when a duty or santo offer something to maharaj maharaj definitely accept it if that was or there is whatever in thar or whatever the things offer with a pure heart and devotion now in another incident sadguru niskunan swami rat for another incident and in that incident ramchandra vaid and his wife amrut bai the boat decided to go to garuda for the darshan of maharaj but as bhagwan swami naran commanded in sikshapatri that all my devotees when they come to my mandir or at the place where i was and <clears throat> at the time they should not come without any kind of offerings so everybody should go to darshan of maharaj with any kind of offerings like fruits and eatables any things to give maharaj clothes for maharaj in this way ramchandra and his wife they were discussing with each other that what what thing we select for maharaj then ramchandra said uh, ramchandra vaid he said we should make a very nice embroidery and different colored clothes for maharaj then amrit bai said no maharaj use such costly and very nice and diff- different color and with embroidery such clothes maharaj use only for very few days maharaj never or maharaj hardly wear such cl- cost- costly clothes only in some big festival days not every day then ram and amrut bai added that maharaj mostly 
use and mostly wear only simple and white clothes so we should make white one and simple one so that maharaj can use our clothes every day then ramchandra wait said it's okay we'll see what maharaj wishes from us at evening time maharaj divinely came to their village came to the city of vadodara divinely but in human form maharaj appeared in the street on the street one of ramchandra wait's neighbor there was a female and she saw this is bhagwan swami narayan so she knew that this is bhagwan of uh, ramchandra and amrut bai and maharaj called her near when that lady came near to maharaj went near to maharaj maharaj instructed her go and say amrut bai that as you say today that maharaj hardly wear such costly and different color embroidered clothes but today see i have wear this coarse costly and embroidered different color clothes this female to female went to ramchandra wait's home and she described what he had got darshan of maharaj and what maharaj instructed her to instructed her the message to pass to this family when ramchandra and amrut bai listen from this lady that maharaj himself wished to wear nice very nice different color embroidered clothes then they make then they made a very nice different color embroidered clothes for maharaj and when they go when they went to maharaj for a darshan in garuda they offered such nice clothes to maharaj in this way maharaj also give any kind of even sign to devotee in whose mind in whose heart there is only devotion for maharaj if somebody only thinking for maharaj what i will make for maharaj just as some devotees decided what to what to offer in mansi puja to maharaj so in early morning they decided today i want to feed maharaj this thing in lunch so in this way when a devotee offer something to maharaj and for offering to maharaj for a selection when devotees think again and again and engage his mind in thinking for such things for maharaj then that will become devotion uh, devotion and as this devotion become very firm then maharaj himself give a sign or give any kind of instruction indication that this thing i like in this way ramchandra and amrut bai got many times such kind of divine uh experience from maharaj now after this incident sadguru ne skulan so we write down the another incident in this incident there was another duty of bhagwan swami narayan in vadodara city and he was sobaram sastri he was not a duty of bhagwan before he met muktanand swami when muktanand swami first came to vadodara in a palace of gayakwar and there there was a great debate and in front of the king gayakwar but muktanand swami gave a reply with the reference of srimad bhagavat and the other scriptures so all the answer all the questions asked by the opposite uh, the brahmins and the other pandits the other vedantis they have asked whatever the question to muktanand swami and muktanand swami when gave replied to them with the reference of 
some great scriptures so all become silent and in a palace of gaikwad there was a victory of muktan and swami and in this incident after this incident sobaram sastri became a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan now once upon a day sobaram son he by anyhow he got some illness and because of illness even after giving many uh, many types of med- medicines and everything but still he did not become healthy after some days he went into coma he could not speak he could not see he could not recognize anybody nothing he only lying in a bed now so param was very from duty of bhagwan swami and so he pray again and again to maharaj with a full of devotion maharaj please i have only one son so please do something for him so that he can come back in life as sobaram sastri praying to maharaj with with his pure heart he has devotion towards bhagwan and when a devotee who pray to maharaj with pure heart then maharaj definitely listen his prayer maharaj appear in front of sobaram in his house and maharaj said i become very pleased with your prayers now actually i come actually i come here to bring your son into my ashram but now as you pray this much for your son so i do not bring your son to my ashram and in this way only by saying this maharaj disappear in front of sobaram sastri when maharaj came when maharaj appear in front of sobaram then all have darshan of maharaj but as maharaj disappear nobody has darshan now after few minutes as maharaj disappear sobaram sastri's son get up from bed just as somebody sleeping in a bed and at night and early morning he get up from bed in the same way sobaram sastri's son he get up from his bed and he said maharaj himself come to me to bring me in his, in his ashram but after some time maharaj said no today i do not take you in ashram you have to live on this earth and in this way maharaj did not bring sobaram son to his ashram and he blessed sobaram sastri with divine darshan in this way in this this incident teaches whenever we pray to maharaj with our pure heart maharaj always listen our prayer even though we cannot see maharaj in front of us still when we pray to maharaj by our pure heart our devotion then maharaj definitely listen our prayer even we cannot listen maharaj's voice because he is divine but maharaj is always listen what we speak what we pray to him even though in a prayer there is no words prayer may be in a silent still maharaj listen or listen the voice of our heart maharaj listen the voice of devotee's devotion this is the greatness of maharaj so always this incident teaches whenever we have any kind of problem or any kind of question in our life or whenever we got misery in our life so we should all always pray to maharaj for all kind of questions all kind of problems all kind of miseries he definitely if we have a devotion towards him if our heart is pure 
he definitely listen our voice even though such adverse circumstances come to our life and at the time we have no murti or no form of maharaj in front of us and at the time even we pray to maharaj with our pure heart even we have illness we cannot speak anything at the time even we remember maharaj in our heart and pray to him then mara definitely listen our voice of our heart our devotion our pure heart and maharaj maharaj always does what you beneficial for us even though he give us reply even though he make anything look good for us then that is also good for us and if maharaj maharaj does not give us the positive reply or give us any kind of help then that is also a help but we cannot understand that this is help of maharaj in this way this incident give us lesson in our life that whenever we got misery whenever we have any kind of problem in our life we should pray to maharaj with our pure heart in this way but describing this much this much incident happened in vadodara city divine darshan to many devotees divinely come to house of devotee for eating many many incident described in this 144 chapter sadguru and sukran and some concluded this chapter by large this describing incident of sobaram shastri's son and finally niskuran swamirat vadi darshan dida sahune rakhyo manushya ni har ma mune em kahyu sobaram e jare lakhyu niskuran ande te vare so niskuran swami says i have written this incident after listening direct from sobaram shastri what he had experienced now in this way Nishkuran Swami concluded 144 chapter of Bhakta Chintamani Shri Ganesha Maharaj Ni Jai